Hello everyone and welcome to the shenanigans. Today we are opening up the first partner pack for the Unova region. Um, we were just able to find a uh, Kalos region one as well. Um, still have not found the Alolan one, so hopefully I can get my hands on that to finish the collection out. Um, the next pack should be coming out for the, I think it's the Sinnoh region, for uh, Gen 4, if I remember correctly, or maybe that's Gen 3, I can't remember what all the regions are called. Uh, but Gen 4 is next, which that's the first one of these that I actually care about because Gen 4 is one of the ones that I actually played. Um, again, I did not actually play black and white. Dump those packs out here. Um, so I never actually had a chance to use any of these starters, but uh, they look pretty solid. And again, for me, I'm always a water type starter, so it would have been a Froki and... Uh, who's the one for this one? I don't even know. Oshwat. Uh, those would have been the two that I would have used, but I never actually played the game. But again, they look pretty solid. Uh, I, I always complain about how I don't like the water starters for both uh, Sun and Moon and uh, Sword and Shield. Uh, so it looks like we got another Battle Styles. Oh, and a Sword and Shield base set. That's nice. Cool. There's still a lot of cards from the Sword and Shield base that I haven't pulled yet. There's still a lot of cards from Battle Styles I haven't pulled yet. Um, so the... Kalos region was a complete dud. Both packs had nada in it. So with any luck, uh, maybe we can... Uh, I think that's another green code card for Battle Styles. Did they intentionally put green code card packs into these? Hmm. I'm a uh, skeptic, guys. you got to bear with me. Okay, we're going Water Energy because that's my energy. Oh, Pat's on back. Okay, well, we got that much at least, so that's something... Karina's Focus, she has a nice full art card in this set that I have not pulled. Tower of Darkness, Heat More, Salandit, Murkrow, a Yemper, Galarian Slowpoke, Glammeow, Reverse Tower Waters, and a Galarian Slowbro non-holographic. Can Sword and Shield base set save the day? There are tons and tons of cards that I have not pulled. Uh, full art Marnie, the Rainbow Rare Marnie, either Golden Zashin or Zamazenta. Um, a lot of cards. It's been a while since I've actually opened up a uh, base set. Oh, look at that. They didn't cut the corner down there. That's always interesting. Code card for you guys. All right. So can we get a pull? I just want one pull. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. Just something. You know what I mean? Uh, let's go with Fighting Energy. And it's Grass type. Well, that's quite all right. All right. So we have a Lumberry. We have a piece of candy. A Raboot, Krabby, Pharaoh Seed, Roselia, Rhyhorn, Sobble, a Reverse Rulu, and the Rare is a non-holographic Noctowl. So that is 0 for 4 on the last two first starter packs. Those packs have just not had any luck at all on them. But again, like I was talking about in the last video, that's not really the point of them. The point is to collect those jumbo cards. So, with any luck, I'll be able to find an Alolan one here. Uh, and coming up soon, I believe, if not by the time this video is out, the 4th uh, Gen for Starter Pack should be out as well. So keep your eyes open for that. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you all in the next video.